Welcome back to NASCAR The Game Inside Line on PS3. This is Season Mode, Champion Difficulty with Casey Kane. Standings, this is going to be race 15. Standings after race 14, we have a new points leader. Denny Hamlin takes over the points lead with Martin Truex Jr. in second place, just one point behind. Joey Logano, third place, five points behind. Kevin Harvick drops from first to fourth. He's now 16 points behind. And Clint Boyer moves back into the top five. He's 16 points behind. I actually moved up five spots to eighth place. I've made it into the top ten. I'm 26 points behind. Cut that in half. After my win at Pocono, I went from 48 points back to 26 points back in one race. But here we are. We're going to do 20 laps at beautiful in the Irish Hills of Michigan. In Brooklyn, this is Michigan International Speedway. Before you begin qualifying, let's be sure the car is set up how you want it. Now head out and run a few laps. Hoping to get another good finish here. I have three top three finishes in a row. The car's looking good. You just need to go out there and put in a good, solid performance. I'm pretty sure I'm going to use Dale Earnhardt Jr. setup here. It's pretty good. Let's start qualifying. Love the high speeds of this track. lot of fun. If you ever pass this track, you're probably lost or you're out, in the, you're out in the middle of nowhere. This track is out in the middle of nowhere with one two-lane road going in and out. That's it. If you come to a race here, you're going to want to camp all weekend because if you try to get here on the same day as the race, you're not going to make it. You might be a mile away from the track. You might be able to see the track off in the distance but it will take you hours to get there. Something's wrong with my sound. Sounds weird. Let's see if I can get another good qualifying finish. It doesn't look like it. I'm going to get 43rd to qualify. I'm not going to use the brakes here. I think that was my problem on the first lap. Thirty-six. Okay, good job. Don't worry about it, buddy. Not too bad. I mean, it's pretty bad, but it's not too bad for me anyway. Good qualifying is important, but you're good enough to make it up. I am good enough to make it on race day. Let me tell you. Just remember the basics. And give me a good solid drive. I'm trying to continue my hot streak here. Start the race. Career ceremony is underway. Welcome to a little bit of Motown madness right outside the Motor City. We're at Michigan International Speedway for today's running of the Quicken Loans 400. Mike, we got a new surface and the track is bad. It's really fast. But the other important thing that uh, teams always consider when they come here, this is a manufacturer's battle. You want to win this race for your particular manufacturer. Very important to them. Sure. Detroit is the motor city, and all of the Detroit Big Three have all their folks out here to see one of their cars win. Ford, Chevy, 
Dodge or will it be a Toyota in victory lane today? About to go green here. 20 laps in Michigan and the quick and loans 400. Bobby Labonte goes up high. A lot of cars pass me down low. So I was trying to make a move around Bobby Labonte. Get into those high speeds back here. Maybe go three, four wide. I'm going to use the low lane to my advantage. Slide up and get a little bit of draft. Look at that, 211 miles an hour. Trying to make a move on the outside here, I'm going to hit the wall. Don't lose too much. Whoa, give me some room up here. Probably have to make two pit stops here. High lane is not working. I'm not making any ground. Looking really good, buddy. We're really congested Inside here. Four wide. Paul Menard gets slowed way down. Inside. For some Inside. odd reason. Really having trouble finding that speed here. And I'm at 38th, I'm not making any ground on anybody. The leader is six seconds ahead. Car inside, trying to get to your corner. Paul Menard trying to make up some ground, and he's going to trap me in inside. behind Dave Blaney. Back to 40th. Just can't find speed here. Car underneath. Car inside. Nice and easy. Just keep doing what you've been doing. Closing on the bottom. I'm gonna fall back to last. Looking inside. Almost. Second lead by Matt Kenseth up front. All right, your door down low at your door. Low side's clear. Oh, we got a yellow. We got a yellow. Rex right in front of me. Back of the pack. Racing. And what happens? Ooh, looks like a car got slowed down. Hit the wall. I go sneaking by. The safety crews are clear of the track. I'm in the pit. The road will be open this time. Get some fresh tires. Lower my wedge. See if I can find some more speed here. Look at that long line of cars going into pit lane. <laughs> Taking a full round of wedge out. Trying to loosen up my car a bit. Okay, boy. 
cameras. Safe and smart. Here we go. Pretty clean race so far. Yeah, flying by. Looks like they're speeding on the third Oh, we got wrecked. Oh, cars are spinning. I'm going to try to sneak out of here. Matt Kenseth still holds the lead, and I'm going to come out 39. Great stop, guys. Good job. In and out. It's all you now, buddy. Okay, go get 13 to go here Cars at Michigan. Here. Keep hitting your mark. What's up with this freaking restart? That's weird. Come on, let's do this now. It's not going to work. 41st, 42nd, 43rd, we're single file. Really trying to make up some ground here. This isn't really that long of a race. This isn't like uh, Richmond or Bristol or somewhere like that where you got a lot of laps to pass. There's 20 laps here. I mean, it is a two-mile track, Down so we're going 40 miles. We're up top. Our man used that draft. Let's use this momentum when we get there. We'll slingshot past him. I'm starting to move up. Four seconds in front. Car handling a little bit better now. Car Jeff low. Gordon in the lead. Pretty wide. Two inside. Man, you get up high just a little bit, and the cars will pass you. Like I will have to make one more pit stop. Got a couple strategies that I'm going to use. Car inside, trying to get to your corner. There's five second gap between you and the leader. Car two back. Yeah, it just depends if it's under green or under yellow. Now I'm losing. Car closed on the inside. Halfway home. Keep digging. Let's go to work now, buddy. Come on. The leader is six seconds ahead. Gonna have to pit in about six and a half laps. Car two back. Oh, we got cars sliding up up front up there. I really got to do something. I cannot find speed here. Something is... Something's just not right. Watch your outside. Looking high. Over your outside. Well, there's a rear right there. He's still on you. Eight second lead by Jeff Eight Gordon go. now. Coming on the high side. Yeah, looking outside. Best. One outside. Car up top, just looking. Car outside, trying to get to your corner. Car in front, heading to the got cars starting to head to pit road. You know what, I'm going to do the same thing. Hit a little bit early this time. Perfect entry. If you want to go with four tires, might as well fill her up with gas. Standing by, the crew's on the wall. Uh-oh. I'm going to loosen up my car even more. And I'm only taking two tires. See what happens here. Looks like there goes the leaders. Nice pit stop right there, just like we practiced. Like I said, we were really good 
to exit here. off uh, pit road. Hard man, race hard. All right, so let's get the car in front of the way. Letting by be smart here. High side. Wow, the debris right there. Car in front's heading to the pit. Right side's clear. So, you know, I only took right side tires. Go high, go high. The leader is in the pit. Fuel mileage, a big thing here. They haven't told me how many laps I got on fuel right now. There's six to go. About five and a half laps to go. Seven laps. Okay, I got enough fuel. Good. Didn't think I was going to make it. Looks like I'm the front car. Am I going to pull off with the lead? Looks like here comes Tony off. Of, he's the leader right now. I'm going to close the gap with my time, my strategy. Really good. Come on, man. Now, can I hold him off? I mean, I'm going to have a little bit of a lead on him. Not too much, though. I mean, Jeff Gordon is right behind me. He was running a second faster than me before we... Uh, went into pit road I did loosen up my car a little bit I mean I wish this was like the final lap because I might actually have a chance to win it but I'm gonna lead a lap to go. yellow flag yellow. that is I don't know that might help me it's like Kyle Busch having a little trouble getting started as he gets bumped Heads through the grass. Didn't hit anything. Should be all right. Race track's clear. Arrow's now open. Crew's on the wall. It's gonna be Casey Kane, Brad Keselowski, Martin Truex Jr., Sam Harris Jr., Michael McDowell, and Juan Pablo Montoya. The front three rows. Two to go here. Probably not gonna pull off the win. I'd like to. So I'm going to do everything in my ability to pull off this win. I really don't think I'm going to, though. I mean, my car is not fast. Let me get some draft. Let me get him loose. If I can get up to his bumper. No. Car inside, just have. looking. Car inside at your door. Come on, man. Hold right there if you want to draft. Come to the white flag. Final lap. White is out. Final lap. Trying to hold on to a fourth straight top three finish. Probably not going to happen. Car three so back. I think it's slowed down. Closing up top. The leader's a second ahead. I'm not going to do a whole lot of blocking because. I really don't want to get wrecked. I'm going to block a little bit, but if they, got enough, if they got a lot of speed... I might hold on to a top three. Wow, pit strategy pays off, as I'm going to get third in the quick lunge 400 at Michigan. Brad Keselowski wins it. Another great points day. The last few weeks... Before the All-Star Race, I was 24th. After the Coca-Cola 600, I was 20th. After the FedEx 400, I was 13th. And after the Pocono 400, I was 8th. I don't know what I'm going to be now, but it's going to be great. Closing that gap. Martin Truex Jr. probably going to take the points. Yes, he's going to take the points lead for sure. He was only one point out of it. I don't know where Denny Hamlin is. Poor Denny. Oh man, not a good day for Denny. Denny Hamlin, 35th. He's going <laughs> to, wow, he's going to lose a lot of points. Let's see, Joey Logano was only five back. He's 19th. So Martin Truex Jr. might have a little sizable lead here. 
Kevin Harvick, another one in our top five. We're looking for Clint Boyer as well. Clint Boyer, 11th. And that's probably the best finish other than Martin Truex Jr. because I can't find Kevin Harvick. 38th, even worse than Denny Hamlin. So he'll probably be out of the top five. Uh, I mean, that's surprising. He was leading so many uh, weeks in a row. So, well, Brad Keselowski wins it here at Michigan in the Quick Loans 400. Thanks for watching, guys. We're going to think outside the Oval next week as we go to Sonoma. Thanks for watching.